Good morning. At least it's morning for me in this moment. Um, I'm here in San Diego. I'm in my home in San Diego temporarily in my move to Bali. I'll be here for the next few months uh, preparing the house for sale, selling the house, and selling all my, all my stuff, my car, and moving to Bali for a new chapter in life. And I, I want to speak this morning about the value of awakening as the consciousness, the awareness that we are, and living as that in this world of form, in this world of ever-changing dynamics, that there can be a stillness there can be a center point of truth, of peace. That is the true and essential nature of our being. And we, when we awaken as that, as our true self, the essential self, prior to the personal self, prior to this incarnation, that essential nature of being that is ever-present, typically veiled by our thoughts and our stories and all the things we make up about life. When it is unveiled, we truly live rested in and as peace. And I bring this up today because uh, it has been a tumultuous uh, few weeks, as you might imagine, moving out of my home in Sedona, packing everything up, moving it here to San Diego, unpacking, moving into my home temporarily. So having to manage and figure out what goes where as far as storage and then moving on to Bali, what gets sold, what gets kept. And all the logistics and all the dynamics of moving utilities and health insurance and, you know, and, and working out when I do move to Bali, uh, international financing, and, finances and banking. Um, suffice it to say, there's a lot of the conditions of life, the content of experience. And we've talked before about not getting lost in the content of experience and remaining in our truth, in our peace, in our conscious awareness of all of it, which is a stillness, an unchanging, unwavering, imperishable grace. Just as the sky remains undisturbed and unchanged by the passing weather, who we truly are is peaceful, loving awareness. So the advantage to this, of putting in this effort, this work, this devotion, this practice, this study, that slowly reveals the truth of who we are, which is already present, by dismantling the construct of self, the egoic story of self, as that drops away, the essential nature of our being blossoms as peace.
So there's been all manner of opportunity to get completely lost in the content of experience. Everything that I'm working with, and engaging with, What does it mean? Well, how's it going to impact my future? What does it mean about who I am? How am I going to manage this to be safe, to be loved, to be worthy, to be relevant, to be validated? I moved into my home here and the tenants that I had here for the last four years were quite irresponsible and immature. And they had not taken care of this home. And there was on, I want to say there was drama, but it didn't, it wasn't received that way, but there was dynamics. There was a lot of dynamic of them moving and not moving in time and me arriving and them still not being moved. And, dynamics of the world of form, the, the world of objective experience. And what a blessing. To meet it and make decisions and set boundaries and have conversations without interpreting everything through my egoic story, my, my personal sense of self, but to meet everything in, in a state of equanimity, in a truth of equanimity. It's not really a state. In the equanimity that I am, that you are, that everyone is, when they're not making up drama and when they're not making up chaos. So you can think of it this way, that typically, and we've talked about this before, but it bears repeating. Typically we are taking in all the experiences of life. Yeah. And we are calculating what our response should be, what our reaction should be based on our database, based on our past, everything we've learned, all of our conditioning, all of our programming. So when things occur that feel threatening, it's threatening to whom? Well, to my story, to my construct, to the construct of me that I've been constructing over a lifetime with this experience. And what does that mean? Well, that means I'm, I, I, I need to be validated in order to feel safe. And, and then this story happens, this experience happens. And what does that mean? And, and that means that, um, that in order to be important, to be of value, I have to be respected, I have to be understood, I have to be in control, all, all manner of things. We are typically taking in life and interpreting it with our database of conditioning to see what our, how should I respond, how should I react in, in this moment. And as the true self is known, is awakened, when the knowing of self is more accurate, we meet life with the heart forward. In other words, we meet life with the wholeness of our being present and available to take in life and be experienced, all of the content of experience 
be experienced by loving awareness, by peaceful loving awareness. So part of the practice is remembering consistently who am I really? If I pull out of the story, out of the, out of the mm, mm, uh, calculating of how I should respond, if I pull out of that, if I pull out of the weather, out of the storm, out of the dynamic, who am I really beyond that, beyond the storm of conditioning, beyond the, the and it's not always a storm, certainly. You know, all the beautiful experiences in life as well, even that, am I naming this, this is beautiful, this is okay, and this is not, and, and this is absolutely divine, and, and, and this is ugly, and this is, to, to be able to rest as the peace that just notices. Do I want that? Do I want more of that? Then move toward that. And do I need to set a boundary here? Then set a boundary here. Do I want to move away from that? Or does it not feel resonant? Then move away. I don't need to make stories up. I don't need to make up villains in life in order to justify my movement, my choices. It's amazing how quiet the mind gets when we live from the heart, when we live from our truth. And the heart's just a portal that is an opening to that truth. That peace, that equanimity, that grace of being. When we live as that, we stay present in the moment. We're not hanging on to that weird conversation with the tenants and, and what did they do? And I can't believe they did that. And, I, and, and oh, they're, they're so this and they're so that. And I don't, that story doesn't have to be told. It doesn't have to be carried. Just meet the moment, do what needs to be done, move, let it go. Of course you let it go because it's no longer happening. You're always in the moment. And we don't live in fear. If I don't get this right, it's like a s subconscious fear. If I don't get this right, if I don't make the right decision, if I don't manage this correctly, then I'll be destroyed. Then I'll be lost. Then I'll be beset with all manner of bad consequences. When we learn to live in the equanimity of peace that we are, we recognize whatever choices I make, right, wrong, good, bad, they don't work out the way I thought, there's a knowing that whatever that leads to, I'll still be in an equanimity of peace. So whatever it leads to, that will be met with the same equanimity of peace, of love, of presence. So I, I think that that is really the message for this share today, the value of remembering who am I, who am I really? on a regular basis is an awakening. Every time we do that, it's a, hey, 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 stay awake. What's true? Who am I really? I'm not my conditioning. I'm not my programming. Pull back. Oh, I am the sky. 
witnessing the weather of my programming, the weather of my conditioning that is moving and, and speaking its old um, habitual narrative. And I hear that and I recognize it and I don't engage with it and I just let it pass, let it pass, let it pass, let it pass. But we have to stay in the conversations. We have to make this a, a devotional practice. And then the main question is, who am I really, truly, essentially, absolutely? This human incarnation will pass. This vehicle will end. This story will end. What is the essential nature of my being, your being, what is this essential nature of consciousness? And I am that. And, and you can do this in, in little micro meditations. Take five minutes, take two minutes, take 30 seconds in your day to stop. Maybe while you're driving. In the morning, in the middle of the afternoon, just take a moment to stop all activity and ask, who am I really? What is the essential nature of consciousness that, trans, that is transcendent of this personal experience? What is aware of the personal experience? What is aware of all the content of experience that is dynamic to this life? To not get lost in the content of experience, but to remember, pull back, remember truth. And when we do this consistently, what happens is you will feel a shift in that remembering. Who am I really? With that breath, with that remembrance. Ah, there's the peace. I am the peace. no longer habitually taking in the world of condition, taking in the world of form and feeding it to the database and calculating, how should I feel about this moment? Should I feel insulted? Should I feel angry? Should I feel vengeful? Should I feel, uh, should I carry this, this hate? Like my ten the tenants who are here, man, there were all manner of opportunities to go, Damn these people. Oh my God, I can't believe it. I could have carried a feeling for them. Of anger and, and, and wanting to punish them and, and wishing upon them difficulty, challenges and I know that they're struggling to find a new place to live because they're irresponsible and immature. And I could hang on to, yeah, yeah, I hope they really, I hope they learn their lesson. I hope they have a really hard time with this because all that they did to my house. Oof. We learn to walk our path and let others walk theirs. So I know this is a long video today, but there's just, there's, it's been a lot of movement and activity and dynamics and choices, and things to do, and emotional movement. And through every moment of it, every moment now, there has been a, a knowing, not an intellectual knowing, just a arrested knowing that it's all just movement of life within the presence of unconditional loving awareness. 
So that's the invitation. Stay with this. Keep remembering who am I really, really, truly, and who am I not? Blessings. All right, my friends, be well.